I, I'm, no words, absolutely no words. So, these are normal sized watermelons, right? This one was 17 pounds. This one, I think, was 18 pounds, right? A normal sized watermelon, and then you got this guy. Let me just, okay, you can't see it, but. Oh! They look puny compared to this guy. So, per pound, the guy tried to weigh it, it broke the scale. I kid you not. So, this was the weight of the other two watermelon. This watermelon was so big, it broke the scale and they just had to resort to just a default $6 price. Cause it's that freaking big. Bruh. This guy freaking broke the scale. It's that heavy, it's that freaking massive. What the hell? <laughs> I just wanted to share that. I'm looking at it now. This watermelon is legitimately two times, at least two times the size as a normal watermelon. Like that's a normal size watermelon. I don't know how to show you, but um, here's a here's a slipper, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> let's let's try to weigh it. Okay, I brought the scale to weigh it. So let's weigh the normal one first. Okay, let's yeah add some pressure because it probably won't. Okay, so that's 17 pounds for the normal one. Now, so the the on sale price was four pounds for a dollar, and the default price because this broke their scale was 5.99. So basically that means that if this watermelon weighs less than 24 pounds, that means I got gypped and I paid too much. If it weighs more than 24 pounds, then I got a better deal. So let's try weighing this one out. Let's guess. I think 30 pounds. 32 pounds! Bruh! It's all okay, it's not legitimately two times, but it's almost two times the size as a normal watermelon. Hey, okay. So now, now, now the question is, is a big watermelon a good thing? Or is that a bad thing? Is there any like professional watermelon pickers? Should I be going for a big watermelon? I, I still have some, uh, uh, some cut watermelon in my fridge right now. So I'm not going to open it now. But like, is, was it, I didn't think about this earlier, but what if the watermelon is not sweet? I don't know, but that thing is massive. It's almost two times the size as that normal watermelon. This thing is freaking massive. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's massive. Massive. So I'll try to report back to you when I eat that watermelon. Hopefully I don't forget. But I'll let you know whether or not a big watermelon is a good thing or a bad thing. Dude, I'm so excited. That watermelon is freaking massive. It broke the scale. It broke the, the cashier scale thingy. Like it didn't break it, but like it, it didn't register because it was like an overload, right? That's freaking crazy. I. <laughs> See you soon. I wanted to test whether or not a big watermelon, would that make it taste worse or would it taste better, right? Because if, even if it's really big, it doesn't matter if it tastes bad. So I'm going to cut it open, but first things first, this isn't the watermelon. This is the watermelon. Dude, look at this. <laughs> look how big this guy is. Bruh. Okay. So, I'm only gonna cut half, cause there's no way in hell I'm gonna finish the entire thing, right? So... It's massive, dude. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. So, um... Should I just cut a third? I feel like I should just cut a third, cause of how big it is. It looks good. Hi. Right. Let's taste it. It's a good watermelon. I was super worried that the big watermelon would just not taste good, right? So you know how some things are like, the bigger it is, it just doesn't taste as good? Like for example, I feel like apples, the more perfect they look, the more bland they are, the more like less apple-y they are. But this watermelon, I don't care what Steroids was put, <laughs> was injected in this watermelon. This watermelon tastes delicious, and it's freaking massive. This half is like the same size. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. So while I'm cutting this watermelon, I might as well say. So a watermelon hack I like to do is I'll save the inner part of the rind, and then I'll use that as ice the next time I blend a smoothie or a protein shake. And I find like. It makes it a lot thicker, and like, 
it's it's like free flavor. I feel like ice doesn't thicken as well, and using watermelon rind, it adds that flavor. It adds that thickness to it, because I'm pretty sure there's some type of like plant fiber in here. I'm sure there's some nutrients. I'm so thankful this <laughs> this watermelon is actually good, because I was super worried that like it'd be really big, but it wouldn't taste good. Like that's that would suck, right? Look how pretty it is. It's so red. It looks like like ruby red. You might ask why I'm cutting on the kitchen table. There's a crap ton of ants on the counter and I don't want to deal with that. Ants are so annoying. You know, ants would be really cute <laughs> if there weren't 300 million of them. Like otherwise, they'd be pretty cute. I was also actually wondering, how do you guys usually cut watermelon? Like my family usually cuts it like this and we use like toothpicks or like forks to eat like every individual like cube thing. A lot of people cut wedges, but I feel like wedges are kind of annoying when you have to keep throwing it away, like when you're eating at home. Or some people, they'll do the, the long stick thing. I just find that uncomfortable. I feel like this is the perfect size because then you don't like, you don't have to commit too much when you're eating every individual slice. Every individual slice is like, you can eat to like exactly your fullness level. Or how does your family cut watermelon? <laughs> Ta-da! This is only a third of the watermelon. <laughs> Now we know for watermelon, size doesn't matter. Have a good day. Man, ants are so annoying during the summer. Does anyone have any like life hack, please? Like, I don't want to cut on the kitchen table. I'm so worried. I was so worried while cutting that watermelon. If I somehow made like a mark on the kitchen table, I'd be so screwed. Anyone hack, please. So many ants. Uh. -uh. And you know, the probably the hack is probably just don't be an idiot and don't leave out food. But any hack other than that? <laughs> Watermelon! <laughs> mm.